Hey guys, Sean Nalawani here of BodyTransformationTruth.com and in this video, I want to discuss what the best cardio exercises are when it comes to burning calories and improving your overall conditioning. Now, it may not be uh, the most enjoyable thing in the world for a lot of trainees out there, but performing regular cardio is something that I do recommend for most people and my suggestion here is very simple and that is that instead of choosing your specific cardio exercises based on what will burn the most calories, just go with the ones that you enjoy the most and that maximize your chances of sticking to your cardio plan over the long term. Now just to be clear, what I'm referring to here are the actual cardio exercises that you choose such as a treadmill or a stationary bike and not the specific cardio methodology such as low intensity, long duration or high intensity, low duration. As I've covered in previous videos, both slower paced cardio sessions in the 45 to 60 minute range as well as high intensity cardio sessions in the 8 to 20 minute range, these both have their own unique benefits and most trainees will probably be best off by performing a mix of both. However, assuming that you have things already laid out properly in terms of frequency, intensity, and duration, then the specific cardio exercises that you use to meet those variables are really up to you. Fat loss and muscle growth are all about ongoing long-term consistency, and when it all comes down to it, the best cardio exercises are simply the ones that you'll be most likely to perform multiple days per week over the long term. For example, if you absolutely hate running on a treadmill, then there's no need to torture yourself by using that as one of your cardio methods. Instead, go with a cardio machine that you prefer better, such as a stair stepper or a stationary bike or a rowing machine. Or if you can't stand traditional cardio equipment altogether, then do something like uh, bodyweight intervals or barbell complexes or even kettlebell work. You could jump rope, you could hit a heavy bag, uh, you could swim. If you'd rather go outdoors, then there's a million choices there as well, such as things like cycling or hiking, kayaking, etc. If you're into sports, then another option is to find a drop-in league and use that as one of your cardio methods. Uh, a game of basketball or soccer or hockey, etc. All of these are great ways to get the fat burning and cardio conditioning benefits that you're after while having fun at the same time. Another option is to take a look at the list of classes that are offered at your gym and see if anything interests you there. Group cardio, uh, a TRX class, even fast paced yoga. There's really nothing wrong with any of these choices when it all comes down to it. If you just take a bit of time and put some thought into it, then you should easily be able to come up with a list of different activities that you'd enjoy or at the very least that would be tolerable while still allowing you to get a good workout in. Remember, the basic underlying purpose of cardio is simply to burn additional calories and any form of exercise that allows you to generate uh, a sufficient amount of intensity is going to allow you to do that. Obviously, there will be uh, slight differences in overall calorie expenditure from exercise to exercise, but the overall variance is going to be negligible and it isn't likely going to make much, if any, difference in the overall picture of things. Now, the one caveat here is that if you are someone who is looking to fully optimize their body composition and their strength levels, then you'll obviously want to choose cardio exercises that don't measurably interfere with your recovery uh, in between your weight training workouts. It probably wouldn't be wise, for example, to do rock climbing as a cardio method immediately before or after a back workout. Or if you were training chest uh, and triceps in the next 24 hours, then you'd probably want to avoid uh, repetitive punching on a heavy bag or if uh, you just performed heavy squats and leg presses in the previous day, then doing explosive plyometrics or sprint intervals probably wouldn't be ideal. Just use some proper planning and some common sense to make sure that you choose cardio exercises that don't heavily involve the muscles that you've just finished training or that you're just about to train. 
Again though, this assumes that you're trying to squeeze out 100% of your possible muscular development and strength gains. If that's not necessarily the case for you, then just go ahead and schedule your cardio sessions in whatever way uh, that you would personally prefer. So the bottom line here, again, the basic underlying purpose of cardio is to generate enough overall intensity uh, in order to burn a significant number of calories. And there are an endless number of different possible activities that will allow you to do that beyond traditional treadmill running or stationary biking. And for that reason, choosing your cardio exercises based on the specific activities that you most prefer will number one, maximize the chances of sticking to uh, your cardio plan long term. Number two, make your day to day life more enjoyable in general. And number three, do both of these things while still delivering the same basic fat burning and cardio conditioning results that you're after. So thanks for watching this video lesson. I hope you found the information useful here today. If you want to get some more highly effective but practical fat burning and muscle building tips just like this one, along with concrete step-by-step -step training and nutrition plans to follow, make sure to head over to bodytransformationtruth.com and grab my complete body transformation blueprint system. And you can do that by clicking the icon at the top of the video or using the link in the description box below. If you did enjoy the video, as always, please make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe to stay up to date on future videos. And make sure to check out my official blog over at seannow.com for all of my latest articles, tips and other updates. Talk to you again soon.